Hey, it's Mike. Let's talk about Reaper. In today's episode, I'd like to answer a viewer question. I try to answer all the viewer questions on YouTube through text or by directing them to the Discord server for more assistance, but this one I felt like deserved its own video. I'm not quite sure how to properly pronounce the name, so I'll throw the name up here. Anyway, this particular viewer asks, Hello there, question please. I try to put the track manager on the right side, but the lower dock, here the mixer, seems to have the display priority. So my track manager on the right is not the full height of the window, but the full height minus the height of the mixer view. Any ideas? Thanks. Now what he or she is referring to is the track manager video. If you've not seen that video, click the link above. Let's take a quick look at Reaper and see how we can manage the placement of items in our docker. The project I've got open is a blank project and I've reverted to the default theme in Reaper so that my instance looks mostly like yours hopefully will. I'll start by opening up my track manager by clicking on view and track manager and you can see that my track manager starts floating. Now I can right click track manager and choose to dock that in the docker and as you can see it's docked itself in the lower dock to the right of the mixer. I can change its width and have it practically overtaking the mixer if I'd like. I can also move this to different places, but that's where it gets a little bit tricky. I can left click and drag this header for the track manager to different positions to determine where it's going to display in Reaper. If I hold my left mouse button and drag it far to the right, hopefully you can see there's a little bit of a blue accent over here to the right of Mixer. And if I release the cursor now, I have a tabbed option to where I can switch between the Mixer and the track manager. To put it back over onto the right side, I'll left click and drag until I get this blue display over to the right and it reverts back to the position we had it initially. Now if I'd like to have the track manager full height like I have in my track manager video, it can be a little bit tricky. So I'll left click and drag the track manager and just start to move it until I can see that blue highlight again. I'll start by moving down and you can see that it's taken over the lower right edge of the screen. And if I move that further to the right, you can now see that it's running a full height blue bar on the right edge. When I release my cursor now, I've got a full height track manager and I can drag the left edge of it further to the right to collapse it further. Now if I move this back over to the left a little bit, you should see there's a track manager tab here, but that likes to disappear if I move this further to the right. I typically like to have my track manager pretty small to where it's like this. And in order to move this from this docked position, I'll have to drag the left edge once again to expose this header, at which point I can drag that to another portion of the screen if I'd like. Now that I've got it on the left hand side, I can grab the right edge and move it to expose the header, then left click and drag it again to the right side. And as you can see there, I had that blue highlight moving to a couple of different positions. It's just a little bit tricky to get this exactly where you want it, but with a little bit of patience, you can find the exact spot and get that track manager exactly where you'd like, or you can create a tabbed docker view and set up whatever type of display that you'd like to have. Well, I hope that answers your question and hope this helps. If you like the content you're seeing, be sure to like, share, and subscribe, and you can support the channel further by clicking the Buy Me A Coffee, I Like Coffee, or Patreon link below. While this video is not sponsored by Community Coffee, I definitely recommend you joining our Discord community and engaging with other Reaper users. We'll see you next time. This smells fantastic. Let's go make some.